How did you access uh, your apprenticeship? I originally applied for a level two IT apprenticeship, and that, funnily enough, was found by my my mum in the Around Ealing magazine. I didn't quite make the cut on that particular apprenticeship. I was uh, then referred to the support program that was provided for apprentice candidates who wanted to uh, try and seek other opportunities. I found my uh, level three apprenticeship. Um, through this process. I completed that in December 2021 and I'm now doing my level four course. What would you like employers to know about offering jobs or training opportunities to young people with SENT? Well, there are certain challenges that come for each individual with uh, a particular task or a particular area. What is considered to be maybe a, a weakness in one particular area, they have three other strengths in another. Try to consider what the strengths of the candidates are and play on those strengths. They have a lot more to offer. Uh, the candidates just need encouragement and support. I have high functioning autism. I remember one particular story told to me by my parents. Apparently they had gone to see a family therapist at the time that I was diagnosed. The family therapist said he's not going to do anything. It's best not to think about anything particularly ambitious for a while, just focus on taking care of them. I felt very much when I heard that as if the family therapist had written me off. I always hang on to the, the sentiment that what you have in terms of a disability doesn't necessarily define who you are. That person isn't the disability and neither is the disability them. I can guarantee from personal experience that putting the investment into helping these people with opportunities will seriously benefit you. You will really have so much to gain from this. What change has James brought to your team? Well, James has been absolutely phenomenal. We're very keen to get more young people involved in our service and our industry, to get that sort of fresh thinking and that fresh perspective and actually fresh energy. It also helps with the ICT because I'm getting the end of my career so somebody could work out how some of the software works. Have you had difficulties meeting his needs? No, I mean we had a very very frank uh, open discussion at the beginning about you know, things that he felt comfortable with, you know, his strengths uh, and also a good discussion about the areas where he felt he needed support and improvement. And I would say probably the biggest area really sometimes is overthinking things. Again we've developed a whole range of coping mechanisms being very clear, providing clarity about work instructions and tasks, and setting word limits. We have strong commitments, not only to creating good jobs for our residents, but also in tackling inequality. We want to see more wonderful young people like James, who have so much to offer getting into the workplace. If you're an employer and want to recruit top talent like James, but don't know where to start, then we're here to lend a helping hand to make sure you get the support, to make it as straightforward as possible. And not only will we support you, but also your new recruit too. So what are you waiting for? Don't hesitate. Reach out and contact us today to find out how you could be a brilliant employer and take on some wonderful new apprentices.